All right, guys, what's going on? My name is Luis. Today is December 10, 2020, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, I want to show you the title to this article, and it says here, Setting Up a Siege. Antifa has armed guards stockpile weapons at Portland Autonomous Zone. This happened last night, Wednesday night. Uh, I was live in my other channel, and one of, my, uh, one of the moderators... Uh, Mike was telling me about this. Uh, I know there was a live stream going on on Facebook and also on YouTube. So uh, they were uh, they were taking people as hostage, and they had weapons and all these type of stuff. And you know this is a this uh, this is considered a war within our country, guys. This is considered this is not no free uh, again freedom of speech. This is not no. You know, protests, this is not none of that type of stuff. This is uh, dictators within our country, and we are at war. You don't uh, kidnap people and hold them hostage. You don't come around with guns and try to point it at people. So you can see from right here, guys, you have Antifa. You have uh, uh, someone holding, it seems like, one of those garbage uh, pail, uh, uh, the lid that says Black Lives Matter. I mean, you got all these radicals. I mean, I mean, these people reminds me of the Houthi rebels, you know, Iranians, uh, uh, radicals and stuff like that. So uh, this is what, again, this is what's going on. And the Democrats are saying that these people are you know peacefully protesting they are out there you know prote again this is not protesting they kidnapping people now holding them hostage that's not protest that's an attack within our country and it needs to stop right now here's the problem youtube twitter and facebook is not going after them they are going after the american people and antifa still have their their antifa group on facebook which facebook hasn't taken down yet but they took down QAnon. they took down all the conservative and christians but they're not taking out antifa stuff so what's really going on here it's an attack within our country democrats Communists, Antifa, all these people are invaders that is taking over our country. 2020, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. So, guys, I woke up this morning and I received the email, uh, also, but well, uh, by YouTube, and uh, there's a lot of information going on right now that YouTube says it will delete videos claiming 2020 election was fraudulent. All right, that's what YouTube is doing. Uh, what basically their plan is to remove or delete videos, um, uh, basically, uh, basically on their platform to remove videos anyone that talks about 2020 election fraud. And the reason why they're doing that because they are saying that it, it is a mis uh, information and that Joe Biden is basically the president of the United States and that all this is all conspiracy theories. Here's the problem. It's not considered, look, it's not called a conspiracy theories when it's in a Supreme Court. It's not a conspiracy theories when you have lawyers and many other people involved in this. So YouTube, what they're doing, they are trying to hide this so that the American people will be deceived and accept Joe Biden as president. Last night, well, yesterday was the biggest news. Texas, Louisiana, I think Arkansas, and Alabama has joined together to sue uh, these states, Pennsylvania, Michigan, and all these other states, right? Now, one news media talked about it last night, which is very important because we are talking about election fraud here. So CNN, MSNBC, all these fake news, even Fox News didn't mention about Texas, about these lawsuits, all right? I talked about it. I only gained four to 500 views on YouTube. That is sad. That goes to tell you the censorship that's going on. And by the way, on TikTok yesterday, I gained 100,000 views in 13 hours, 100,000 views. On YouTube, 7,000 views. That goes to tell you the censorship is the real deal. Before I start video with your friends, families, or loved ones, I appreciate the love and support. 
And for those of you that want to support this channel, once again, we had the PayPal link and the Patreon link in the description box. Guys, it's going to be a purge on YouTube. A lot of people's channel might be taken down pretty soon, and a lot of videos are going to be removed. A lot of it. So it's happening. YouTube says it will delete videos claiming 2020 election was fraudulent. Let me tell you guys something. And I'm again, I'm putting my channel on the line here. There was fraud in 2020 election. I'm not going to hide that. Though the U.S. Supreme Court is yet to have its final say on the matter, YouTube has announced it will now remove any piece of content claiming that the outcome of last month's presidential election was fraudulent.